What is up guys, it's your boy here at Jersey Flex. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing Anadrol, one of the classic golden era steroids. I wanna kind of just break down to you guys, sometimes referred to as Anadrol 50. As you guys can see by this title, why you clicked on it, you guys wanna learn about Anadrol. I got my beautiful girlfriend right behind me. She agrees. What's up, babe? We're gonna discuss Anadrol. Before we do that, go down and crush that subscribe button as it helps this channel. Uh, aside from that, I do also wanna point out, as you guys do know, I am partnered with Greg Doucette and HTLT Supplements. They've been very good to me, very good brand. Um, I use it, their pre-workout, also post-workout, their whey protein isolate, liver support as well when I'm on cycle, just a great, great brand with tons of quality products. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below where you guys could browse through the HTLT website and check out their products if you guys are interested. Other than that, go down, crush that subscribe button. We're gonna roll that intro video and get started on this discussion about Anadrol. Bang! Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's a start of where it ends. I know. So, a lot of you guys in the bodybuilding community are familiar with the word Anadrol. Uh, as you guys did see by that intro, I did kind of have a little bit of a disclaimer because technically when I'm talking about these compounds, I should not be doing so without mentioning that you should consult your doctor, I'm not a healthcare practitioner, blah, 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 seek medical consultation first. Also, this is a drug that you can only find in the underground, so it is illegal. I'm not telling anybody to do anything illegal, so this video is just made for educational purposes only. Use it to learn. Use it to be educated. Don't do anything stupid. So, let's discuss Anadrol. Oxymethylone, also referred to as A-bombs by bodybuilders. Why is it called A-bombs? because it's strong. This is a very potent anabolic. Um, it is not something that I would personally recommend being ran longer than six weeks. Some people do eight weeks, some people do four. The people that do four are the smart ones. It's not something that you should run longer than that duration of time. It's something that starts working immediately. So if you don't notice results by six to eight weeks, just stop because one of two things, it's not really working well with your body. That might have to do with your receptors and your genetics, so give it up. It's just very toxic, not something to run longer than that duration of time. Number two, there is also a possibility being that it might not be pharmaceutical grade and you got it from some underground guy from an underground lab. It's not a pure product, so Unfortunately, these things do get counterfeited because they are expensive and people want to try and make money. You might have just bought some Tylenol from the underground lab guy, but I will say be confident, you know, just run it for four weeks maximum. In my opinion, it's something that within a couple days to a week, you'll really notice the response even immediately after. And that's the case with most of these orals such as Dianabol, Anavar, etc etc you guys have heard me talk about these other compounds in different videos so another reason to stay subscribed and learn from these videos so it was originally designed in the golden era the 1960s it was used for anemia the reason why it was used for anemia is because this steroid in particular now all steroids produce a increase in red blood cell count but Anadrol being as potent as it is, it really produces a tremendous spike in red blood cell count. That's why it is, was originally used for anemia. Uh, to this day, you'll still see people treating themselves if they have AIDS and stuff like that. It is also used for anemia, but there are other drugs that are healthier, at least you know with less side effects that have come into play that have been used to treat anemia since then. So. Yeah, it is also, um, I do have to know, a DHT derivative. This is not 
a steroid compound I recommend for women because it'll give you those masculine features, those androgenic features. And it is really rare in terms of the fact that it gives you androgenic features as well as estrogenic features. So just something to uh, keep in mind. It is also a DHT derivative. So hair loss is something that is possible with the usage of anadrol A-bombs. So something to keep note about A-bombs. Boom. So one of the things I do have to mention is a little bit about the side effects and how we, we can prevent some of that. So something that um, Anadrol is known for is its water retention. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, uh, the, the one thing I would recommend to prevent gynecomastia would probably be Novidex. So that way it'll kind of keep the nasty estrogen away from the receptor sites of the nipples. But that will not so much help you with the water retention uh, as well as blood pressure related issues that might come from Anadrol. So that's something to just keep in mind. Anadrol, you kind of want some of that water retention because it's going to help with better pumps in the gym. It's going to make you stronger, help you move heavier weight. Um, but it is something to keep in mind that you're not going to be hard and dry. You're going to build a lot of muscle and get the anabolic effects from it, but uh, as well as increased enhanced protein synthesis, but there will be some water retention that unfortunately you can't really do much about. Uh, some people might say Arimidex, but then you kind of defeat the purpose of getting those pumps and being strong because when you get rid of all the water retention, strength is something that kind of goes away and um, you're also gonna have some joint pain without water. So something to just keep in mind. Novidex is what I personally recommend so you can avoid getting pepperoni nipples. Now let's discuss one of the more popular side effects that you will experience with any oral. This would be liver toxicity. So that's why it is highly recommended to get some blood work done before, during, and after, same as any other type of compound. Um, it is a C17 alpha alkylated oral steroid, meaning that there is liver toxicity. So that's why I personally don't recommend more than four weeks. Um, that's something I do have to say. Now let's talk about dosage. So being that it is extremely potent, uh, you should be all right with just doing 25 to 50 milligrams a day. They typically come in 50 milligram tablets. That's why 25 is pretty easy. You just cut it in half. Um, and 25 is what I really recommend. I'm a very conservative type of user. I don't recommend taking high doses. That's just how I am, how I approach everything that I do. Um, 50 megs would probably be the max, but you do see some guys out there going for 75 to 100, which to be honest, it's really not necessary. You're just gonna end up giving yourself jaundice liver issues, toxicity, and you increase those nasty, harsh anadrol side effects. And also a lot of people take this stuff for too long because they just like how they feel, they like the way it looks, and you know they end up really hurting themselves in the long run. So it's not something I recommend. As I mentioned earlier in this video as well, it is something to help treat anemia. So being that it'll increase your red blood cell count, it is recommended to towards the end of your cycle, donate blood. This is gonna be good for your community as well as good for your health. It'll help alleviate some of the stress that you're gonna have inside your body with your organs, etc., from having the increase in red blood cell count. So definitely look towards getting some blood work done. That'll help you out. Um, I think I basically covered all the basics about A-bomb, Anadrol in this video, so definitely a much needed video in these series videos that I keep making about anabolic substances. So everybody go down, crush that subscribe button, stay tuned, it's your boy Jersey Flex. Say goodbye to my beautiful girlfriend right behind me. And uh, stay tuned till next time, let's roll that freaking outro. Boom. No!